Curious what you think of the ZS6 BKW antenna compared to an NFED half wave. I have limited area and have to choose between those or something else. Thanks. Um, I can't speak. I don't know what it is. I can't, well, that's the Z6, ZS6 BKW is a variation of the um, G5RV antenna. It's okay. very, it's a very similar uh, dimensions. It's just tweaked a little bit to have um, better um, uh, performance on the lower bands. So um, I can't speak to that antenna, but I can speak about the G5RV because I use them. I think mm -hmm. the key here is for limited space antennas would be, and we've talked about this before, is that um, how you're going to get everything into your lot. Mm -hmm. um, and where your feed and where you want your feed point to be. So if you're going to use a wire antenna like the G5 or the ZS, uh, you're going to have the the feed point's going to have to be kind of in the center, and you're going to have to have a support somewhere in the center, mm -hmm. so that you can bring that ladder section down and then bring that into the house. So if your prop so if your property is such that you can mount the antenna, you know, over the roof of the house and get it spread out along the property so that you can bring the feed down into the house, well, that, you know, that would be a really good choice. Uh, you do need an external, uh, a wide ranging tuner with the, uh, with both of those types of antennas um, because in order to be a multi-band and uh, order to use it as a multi-band antenna, you gotta have, you're gonna have, have a wide ranging tuner. Now the NFED half wave, Say you've got a really big backyard and no trees in the front yard. Well, maybe that's going to be your better choice because you can your feed point is going to be on the end, and then you can send that out to wherever, Never Never Land or something like that. And that's what you use, Joe. You use an NFED half wave because... Well, I use an NFED uh, random wire. Not, NFED not random wire. wire. Correct. Yeah. And you use it... Yeah. So you use an NFED style antenna for that very reason because you don't have supports in the front of the house, but you've got good supports in the back of the house. I don't have supports in the house either, if you understand what I'm saying, right? <laughs> I don't have any support, but that, <laughs> that's just the thing. So a G5, G5 RV style antenna, you have to understand is that you're going to have high SWR. So that mm -hmm. is, it is designed. It does not mean it's not a resonant antenna. It just means a feed point impedance at those specific um, the specific points in the spectrum are not 50 ohms. Correct. No. G5RB, and I do believe the ZS6, have yeah. a section of ladder line, uh -huh. which is usually 450 to 600 ohms. Now, that is a higher impedance. You can match, use that as a matching uh, transform, much like a ballon to... Uh, depending on the length, usually on a G5 RV, it's 33 feet or a quarter wave of 40 meters. Mm -hmm. um, but because ladder line is a lot less lossy than coax, even if you have higher SWR, it does not translate into lots of line loss. Correct. So you are, it is a more effective antenna at higher swr than anything you can imagine with coax mm -hmm. the caveat is is that ladder line the feed line is part of the tra of the transmitting system so it can't be wrapped up around trees or running laying down on the roof it's got to be hanging free air with a, a minimal of a couple feet of distance between any yep. objects yep okay it's got to be so in free it, space mm -hmm. yes if you can do that G5RV, G5RV Junior, the ZX61, uh, uh, these will operate very well. The guys who say, oh, the G5RV is junk, don't know what they're doing. They don't know. Yeah, absolutely. Right. It has to be installed mm -hmm. correctly. I walked up to one, a guy called and said, oh, this is terrible. And the feed line, the ladder line, it's on his roof. It's it's like crosses from the roof of his house to his garage. And then it's like in a tree. And like, well, that's your problem. Well, I just told you to put it up. Like, you got to give a little space. It's got to be able to breathe. Like a good mm -hmm. one. So I guess circling back to the question, um, 
What's best to use? Well, that would be what fits best in your yard. So if you've got the room, you know, if, if you've got, if you've only got one support, maybe uh, maybe a, um, an NFED antenna is going to be your best choice. If you've got, the, you know, a center support and something on the ends, then consider consider a wire antenna, dipole style, like the, you know, the ZS6 or a doublet or mm -hmm. Any other any of the other kind of multi-band antennas, an off-center fed dipole, a Carolina Wyndham, um, mm -hmm. all are all are good multi-band antennas. And you know, I've I've said this, you know, the best antenna that you can use is the one that's gonna fit in your particular location. So absolutely. The the Wyndham is a great example, the off-center fed dipole. It's still a dipole. It's still uh it's a halfway from one end to the other, right? Uh, but mm -hmm. because we shift that feed point uh, to one direction, we're, we're no longer at 50 ohms, we're at 200 ohms. Interestingly enough, mm -hmm. if you take a J-pole antenna and you desolder the little SO239 and the little copper piece there, and you move that up and down, the feed point impedance, the feed point impedance actually will change. Interesting yes. Enough. Yes. The more you know. KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpol-antenna.com.